Yo, what is going on my YouTube people? This is Gavin Asty here again with you for another video and in today's video we got yet another episode of our Operator School series and I just want to give you guys a big thank you for everyone who voted on last week's video. We had an insane amount of 797 votes with Sledge winning at 37% so that's going to be who's in today's video and for those of you who are new to the series how it works is I will be grading every operator in Rainbow Six Siege and grading them on a scale of 1 to 10 in three different categories and then giving them a final overall grade and telling you why you should use them. The three categories are weapons, gadgets, and finally versatility. Normally I go in order of one attacker and one defender so make sure you vote in the poll on screen now for which defending operator you would like to see for next week. For those of you who aren't really sure how to vote in the poll, right in the top right corner of the screen there is a card where you can click on the little eye icon and it will drop down the poll for you guys. So with all that out of the way we're going to hop right into Sledge and who he is is an attacking operator who is part of the British SAS task force and his gadget is a breaching hammer that is used to breach through destructible surfaces. As usual in these videos we're going to start off with our weapons category and for weapons I have given Sledge a 7 out of 10. I think he has some very solid weapons but personally I don't think that they're completely the best. Similar to other operators, he has the option between one of two primary weapons. And we're going to start off here talking about the L85A2. Now this is a solid assault rifle that I don't think is anything fancy. I don't think it's too good, nor is it too bad. It does 45 damage, which is actually a lot. And then with the silencer, it reduces that down to 38. Uh, the fire rate is okay, sitting there at 670 rounds per minute. Mobility is 40 and a typical mag cap of 30. How I like to run this gun would be definitely with the silencer. I think it works well with this gun along with the ACOG sight and grip. And if you don't want to use the silencer, my next best option would be the compensator. For me personally, I don't really like using the other sights. I pretty much just stick with the ACOG sight. For me, I found that to be the most effective, but nonetheless, a really good assault rifle in my opinion. Next, moving on to his second primary weapon, which is the M590A1, and this is a pump action shotgun, the one that you'll see Smoke using, and I think this is a very slow shotgun, and I don't think it's the best pump shotgun by any means. Uh, I hate the idea of attacking operators having shotguns. In my opinion, I don't think it works very well. I would rather have uh, another assault rifle or maybe even a submachine gun or something like that. It does 45 damage, which is actually the same as his AR. So I think that the damage is a little weak for the shotguns, but the mobility is 42 and the mag cap is 7. And how I like to run it is pretty much stock, no attachments, nothing fancy on it. But I do want to also mention his secondary, which is the SMG-11, and this again is similar to what Smoke has on defense. And this is a gun definitely worth mentioning. It is a laser-like submachine gun pistol with an insane fire rate, high damage. Honestly, it's just OP, and it will be seeing a nerf very soon. I think it's kind of the one weapon that will make his shotgun worthwhile when you pair it up with the shotgun. I do like the combo of long and short range. Next moving on to the gadget category. For gadgets I have given Sledge a 9 out of 10. Now the reasoning behind this is he has a very good and useful gadget that pretty much anybody can pick up and use. It's virtually unlimited but you can run out so just keep that in mind when you're destroying the destructible walls and barricades and that sort of thing. I have yet to run out. The good thing is when you swing the hammer and just miss something you don't waste it so uh, you pretty much never run out but just again keep that in mind. It's useful for taking out barbed wire although it cannot get through reinforced walls and it can be a little slow and you might get your feet shot while trying to get through some of the barricaded walls. Also, it can kill enemies, but unfortunately I don't have any gameplay of that. And depending on where you breach, it can be a bit loud, but for the most part, it's a whole lot quieter than using breaching charges. Next, moving on to the versatility category. For versatility, I have given Sledge a perfect 10 out of 10. I think he is a great all-around operator. He has my favorite combo of two armor and two speed. His weapons allow him to play both close and long range, and he is one of the few operators with frags, in which I've mentioned in a previous video, although I do not recommend it, 
they can be used to take out electronics such as jammers and batteries if you throw them through a gutter or in through a window but you know you can also use them to get those pesty little campers in the corner behind the deployable shield so it's a good option to have the frags also the thing I like about Sledge is that he is not a necessity. If he dies early on in a round, your team won't struggle to win. He's really good for newbie players who just, you know, might die very easily at the beginning of a round. So I give the versatility a 10 out of 10. And finally, going to the overall score, the way the numbers crunch out, he gets an 8.6 out of 10. And I don't want you guys to focus too much on the final overall grade but more so what Sledge is good at. So my final thoughts and why you should use Sledge is he's very easy to use and literally anyone can pick him up new or experienced. He has okay primaries, but his secondary, the SMG-11, can absolutely wreck kids. He has, again, the perfect combo of two armor and two speed, good for getting around the map and taking a lot of damage. And he is great for taking out castle walls and barbed wire and a lot quieter than your standard breaching charges. However, the one downside, and I guess his direct counter, would be reinforcements since you cannot get through those reinforced walls. But overall, I think Sledge is a very good operator. So that pretty much wraps up this week's episode of our Operator School series. If you stuck around to the end and you're still here, comment down below, hashtag G Squad, just to let me know you stayed. You guys are true G's for that. If you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button. Let's go for an insane like goal of 300. We beat that on our last Operator School video, uh, and, and I think we could do it again. I would greatly appreciate it. It would make my day. Also, feel free to leave any comments you feel down below, and don't forget to vote on the poll in the top right-hand corner for which defending operator you want to see next week. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. As usual, you guys have a good one. Peace.